Okay. So in this talk, I'm going to consider some issues related to the domain of definition of the partial derivative. Now, the first thing that I want to remind you of is that is that for the partial derivatives, so you have two partial derivatives potentially, f sub x, and what's the other one? f sub y. f sub y. For both these partial derivatives, the the domain of definition is generally going to be, well, if you just think of these functions, the domain of definition is going to be a subset of the domain of f. And in particular, you can think of defining them at a particular point only if f is defined at this point. And so if this is a point, you can consider defining the partial derivatives only if f is defined at the point. However, you can have a situation where f is defined at this point. So this point is in the domain of f, but the partials don't exist or one of them doesn't exist at the point. Okay, so let's try to understand what the partial means from a picture. So here's, this is a picture. What is this picture? What are the points here denoting? Points in this thing? Hmm? The domain of f. Well, yeah, the domain of f is going to be a subset of this plane. It need not be everything, but it's going to be part of this. So points here denote points which you feed into f. Right, so if you take a point, then the x coordinate will be the x input and the y coordinate will be the y input. Now, suppose I ask, I want to, I want to look at f sub x. So I want to look at this. What is the, what's the minimum you need? It's a, it's not just enough that the function be defined at this point. What more do you need in order to even think of being able to compute f sub x? Where else do you need f to be defined? Uh, I don't know. So, so think about it like this. So f sub x, what is f sub x? It's the, it's the partial derivative of f with respect to x, which means it's the derivative of the function which sends x to f of x comma y naught at x naught. Right? You just write that down. So what is f sub x, just write it down here, the f sub x of x naught comma v here is what? It's the limit as x approaches x naught, I hope I get this right, it's what, what's this? So it's x minus x naught, what do you have here? f x, y naught. Y naught minus, yes. is, is it all here? Yes. Okay, minus f of? x naught, y naught x not y not louder so so here's the definition now so what do you need we in order to make sense of this definition where else do you need f to be defined other than just this point you also need f to be defined at uh, x where the neighborhood of y now no the neighborhood x now the neighborhood of x not well then well you need it to be defined just on this line on the line fixed, you fix the line fix y equals y naught. So this is the line y equals y naught mm -hmm. parallel to the x axis fixed. And within this line, the function needs to be defined on an open interval surrounding x naught. Okay? Yeah. So the function doesn't have to be defined in a neighborhood of this point in the plane. It just needs to be defined in the neighborhood of this point on the line y equals y naught. Okay? Right, so it just needs to be defined on to the immediate left and immediate right, keeping the y coordinate constant. Okay, what about f sub y of x naught comma y naught? This one. In order to well, okay, let me just correct something. So I said I it doesn't mean if the function is defined here, then the partial derivative exists because even if the function is defined here, the limit may still not exist. Right, the function may still not be differentiable when you restrict it to this line, but but that's a necessary condition for the for you to even be able to think about taking this partial derivative let me write it down so necessary you understand what i mean yes what do i mean you mean it has to be defined um uh, x has to be defined on the line around f, f has to be defined yeah I thought you said x, yeah. 
Yeah, f yeah, must x. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. F must be defined on the line y equals to y naught around x naught. Yeah, not on the whole line, but at least on the part. And is that sufficient yeah. to ensure that that the partial derivative exists? That's not sufficient, but it has to be that way in order. So it's a necessary order. condition, but but even then. Even uh, then, the the limit may not, may not exist. exist. Yes. Uh, so now can you tell me what will the necessary condition be for this to exist, the corresponding thing? F has to be defined on the line x equals to x naught. What kind of line will that be? X equals to x naught. Yeah, what, what in this picture, which of these lines is uh, it? The vertical one. The vertical line. So this is, so this is on this line. So the previous one was on the line y equals y naught around x equals x naught, and now it's the other way around. F must be uh, defined around y equals y naught at x equals x naught. So here you're fixing the x coordinate is a vertical line, and on this line you'll have an interval like this. Again, this is just a necessary condition. The limit may still not exist. The different limit of the difference quotient may still not exist. Okay. Well, in fact, if you think about it, it has to be defined. Both these functions have to be defined like this for the corresponding partials to exist. And in fact, they should also be continuous from the respective directions. But we are not going into that right now. Right. So for the partial x partial to exist, f should be continuous along this direction for the y partial to exist f should be continuous along this direction but that's not our focus right now mm. okay another way of saying this is that f should be defined if you perturb the so the pre, the first one f for f sub x you're saying f should be defined not just at the point but if you perturb x slightly keeping y fixed and for the other one we are saying that for f sub y to be defined it's necessary that f should be defined not just at the point but if you perturb y slightly okay so let me take take a simple question of like let's say you have this are we, can we come down here so let's say you have a function and let's say the domain of the function is this unit square 0 1 cross 0 1 so let's say uh, the function has domain 0, 1, close interval 0, 1, cross, closed interval 0, 1. Okay. So, so here we have, are we here, down here? Yes. Okay. So, so the domain is this unit square, right? So that just means 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 and 0 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 1. So at what points does it make sense to talk of f sub x? So rather, yeah, f sub x, the partial with respect to x. At what point does it make sense to try to compute it and what point does it not make sense? The hmm? point uh, by the open interval at 0, 1, by 0, 1. Okay, so it's just not on the border. The border doesn't make so sense. So f sub x makes sense, or it may not actually exist, but we can try to compute it. Can be considered on open interval zero one cross closed interval zero one. That means that you are allowing y to be on the boundary. So you are allowing the points. So you're aligning points on this line. You're aligning these types of points. You're aligning y to be at the boundary, but the x value has to be on the in the interior of the interval. So, so you're not aligning these two lines. Okay. So these two lines are not aligned because the, because at the at any point here you cannot do the left hand derivative with respect to x. So you cannot take the two sided f sub x. What about f sub y? Well, that, that will be the two horizontal border. Will be the ones you exclude? Yes. Uh, so it can be considered on what? Uh, it's closed interval 0, 1 by open interval 0, 1. Hmm. 
So the so the, now because we are differentiating with respect to y, we need the y coordinate to be in the interior of the interval. So so it's these two, the top and bottom that we have to exclude. Okay. So what are the points where we where we cannot consider either f sub x or f sub y? Uh, the vertices. The four vertices. We have no text with red one. So these are the points where we cannot consider either partial. Okay. 